Hello, I'm Tripwire, and you are about to watch me eat uh, a bunch of different types of food. Foods that are considered stereotypically British in nature. Because, as I, uh, as I mentioned in my vlog, and beforehand, uh, I did go to RuneFest, and I did go to Jagex Studios while I was in England, and the uh, very generous people there gave goodie bags to those of us that attended. And most of the items in those goodie bags were foods that they considered very British that they wanted us foreigners to try. So I have this bag here, this goodie bag literally full of various things to try that I've never tried before in my life. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try these and uh, you guys can see what I think of them. I'm making this video so that the people who gave me the foods could see me try them and see a live reaction. Uh, I, I was planning on streaming it, but in case they weren't around to watch, I wanted to make sure they could they could see uh, what I thought of all the stuff they gave me. So, here we go. So, the first item is naturally going to be tea. So, we have this Trigothnin tri 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 afternoon tea. So, I'm pretty sure that... I mean, I'm just an American, but I'm pretty sure that what you do is you... Take the bag out of the box, open up this bag, and inside there's a different bag. And I'm pretty sure what they do is they rip this bag open and they snort what's inside. So I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure that's what what they do. Oh, after, um, after actually reading the instructions, that's not, that's actually not in fact how you're supposed to enjoy tea. So I guess I'm gonna follow the instructions on the box, and I'll be right back. There we are, a nice. Green mug, didn't think that one through. A nice mug of uh, tea. I guess this is preferable to snorting the tea leaves. Mmm, leaf water. It's like, uh, I don't know. It says this one's in best enjoyed without milk, is what it says on the uh, container. And so I didn't put any milk and I didn't put any sugar. So it basically just tastes like mostly flavorless warm water um, but maybe I'm just uncultured and I don't appreciate it but anyway let's move on to the next item close that back up the next item is Jaffa cakes right Jaffa cake mini Jaffa cakes uh, I've been told by a lot of my friends from the area that they really enjoy these so hopefully I will too I opened up the container this is not what I uh, picture when I think cakes but they're these little like uh, discs covered in chocolate, and the container's orange, and, it, and the lettering is orange. Six mini light sponge cakes with dark, crackly chocolate and a smashing orangey, not orange, orangey center. All right, so let's try one of these Jaffa cakes. Um. Okay. Um, I feel like I feel like they're missing the essence of cakes with these mini Jaffa cakes, but they're all right. Along the lines of cakes, I have these label labelless some things, some labelless cake things. They're um, I don't know. They look like they could be sponge cake or angel food cake. They're a bit heavy for angel food with some with some icing on them, and I I don't know what they're gonna be like. We're gonna find out. I think the downside is that if I open these and I don't like them, I'm going to feel obligated to eat everything anyways, just so they don't go to waste. Alright, this is immediately an improvement to the Jaffa Cakes, I think. Like, these actually look like cake. Okay, this is this thing. The green screen, like, is an unfortunate twist to this video for showing stuff, but you know. Oh, that reminds me of something, and I can't pick, I can't place what it is. It's good though. It's like a little cake. I don't know what they're called, and I don't know how to describe them. It's a little cake thing with um some kind of fruit filling. So now we're getting into more like candy. This is licorice all sorts. Um, I've heard these mentioned in like British TV shows before, so they must be a pretty like an old candy that have been around for a long time. Like people know it. Pretty common. Um. This is like, this is a dangerous one from the ground up though, because I don't like licorice. Unless it's like the red licorice whips, so this could be bad. 
Oh dear. What? Oh, they're all... I guess that's why they call it all sorts. This smells weird in here. Um, so we got this one. It's like a ye it's yellow. It's not actually green, but it's close. I guess it's yellow, like an eyeball. It's a pupil. And then there's this. It's just orange and black. I don't know what that. It's supposed to be like a little little sandwich, I guess. And then there's this stripy one with the different layers. And then there's uh, this one. It's like a almost pinwheely one, like a checkerboard pattern. And then there is this brown sandwich one. Oh wait, is this supposed to be? I think this one. Is this one supposed to be the sandwich? Like, because there's a pink one that's like that. The other ones, but that one was like checkerboard for some reason. I don't think it was supposed to be. Okay. I don't like licorice, so this is probably going to be bad. Um, oh. oh god. What? Whoa. What flavor is that supposed to be? Oh god. It doesn't tell you like what, what's in it. What, what kinds there are. Oh. Oh god, okay, that was the yellow one. These aren't candy. Like, who who considers this candy? What? Who's eating a full bag of these? What? They taste so weird. They don't mix well either. What? Blah. What are these? Who are these appealing to? Blah. It's like I'm eating a molasses cookie from that was like baked two years ago. <laughs> it's not good. Safe to say I won't be having any more of those. Alright, so the next thing is uh, wine gums. Interesting name. I think they're just like a... They're, they feel like they're cylindrical. I think they're just like gummies. So I assume I'll like these a bit more. I can't get any of them out though. Stop it. Okay, here we go. Wine gums. There's... See, they're just like little gummies, you know? What do they say on them? Sure, sure. What does that say? Who makes these? Maynard Bassett. Okay, that's not what this says. Sure. What does it say? I don't know. These are pretty good though. They're just gummies. All right. Moving on, we have Dip Dab, which um, when this came out, I'm sure that. Dab didn't have the meaning it does now, but it seems it just seems a little bit sillier now that dabbing is just one of those things. So dip dab, we have something like this too in America. I'm trying to remember what it's called, but it's like a lollipop that you dip in flavored like sugar powder. And apparently the sugar the powder, oh god, there's lots of it. Stop, get off. The powder is supposed to, supposed to taste like sherbet. Whoa, what the fuck? I don't think they know what sherbet tastes like. I mean, it is a classic recipe. Maybe this was like, maybe this predates the sherbet that I'm familiar with. It's not bad though, it's just kind of surprising. The second to last thing we have is, I think it's just a milk chocolate bar. So it's just Cadbury Dairy Milk. Uh, I thought that was kind of odd because in America there's never anything called dairy milk. It's like milk chocolate, dark chocolate. So the fact that they include the word dairy was a little bit weird to me. I'd go to gas stations or uh, convenience stores over there and all these chocolate bars would say dairy milk and I just didn't know why the word dairy was necessary. You know, but I think this is just like standard chocolate bar. So this one should be like, I should enjoy this 100%, right? Yep, that's just chocolate, that's good. I'm gonna mention these just because I bought these. I bought this pack of hobnobs. I had I had a different pack of hobnobs in England when I was there. Bought it from a shop, tried them, really liked them. Had the had pretty much the whole pack, I think, and then bought another one so I could take it home with me. So I've already had those, so I'm not gonna try those on here because I already know what they're like. The last thing, however, is 
Indeed, very stereotypically British, and from what I hear, not many people in America like it. It's Marmite. Marmite is a yeast extract spread that people in England tend to put on toast. Now we have a problem. I don't have any bread. So I'm going to be trying it straight up, and everybody else that tried it straight up while we were there hated it. So I'm prepared for that. I've got my leaf water off to the side here in case I need to drink something after, but we're going to go ahead and try this. They said don't smell it, but I kind of need to. Actually, it doesn't smell too bad to me. Some people said it smelled really bad, but I don't think so. Hmm. I might. I mean, my, my buddies all recommend it. You know, get some toast, spread it on nice and thin, and be good. And I just, I don't have any bread, so. Can't do that. Stop. It's, stop it. It's so stringy. Stop. Holy Jesus, that's strong. What the fuck? It's not bad though, I actually like that. <laughs> like everybody else hated it. I was, I was sure that I was gonna hate it. I can see how that would be good on toast. Cause like if you don't mind it straight up, apparently you'll love it on toast cause everybody's like, that's disgusting, how can you eat it straight? That's actually, I, I don't mind that at all, I like that. <laughs> I was I was concerned cause I thought I was gonna hate it. I think, let's see, my, my favorite things, all right. Chocolate bar, it doesn't really count. Like I have that here. Chocolate bar is good. Um. The wine gums are good. These little nameless snack cakes things are good. I love the hobnobs, of course. Least favorite, these things. Lic licorice, all sorts. It was, I mean, I probably could have guessed that. I don't like licorice, but like, those are, those are bad. <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching me try these stereotypically British foods. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say I love the foods, because I didn't love them all, but... I really enjoyed trying them anyway, and uh, now I'm going to have to go ahead and eat all the stuff I've opened, except for the licorice, because those are not getting eaten ever. Um, so I guess I'm not having a substantial meal tonight, I'm just having a bunch of crap. <laughs> or not crap, but like, you know, junk food, I guess. Um, but yeah, thank you to Mods, Rock, and Maz for putting these goodie bags together. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.